Hey y'all, welcome to another episode of Brick Metric. And today I have some really awesome Lego sets that I can't wait to show you. These are some sets that most people would normally pass up, I think, but these are some of my favorite builds that I've done in a long time. So stay tuned on Brick Metric to see all these awesome Lego sets. So I have a confession. When the movie Avatar came out, I didn't really watch it. <laughs> and so I never had seen Avatar, but I saw the Lego sets and thought those are the most beautiful Lego sets that I've seen and just so colorful and so great to look at. I was like, well, I can't really put them together and really understand the significance of these Lego sets unless I've seen the movie. So I watched the movie and I actually you know, put the Lego sets together while I was watching. So, you know, at least part of them. And so, I mean, the movie was great. I got to learn the story of Jake and Terry's, you know, love story. And it was amazing. So I'm going to start off and show you Jake and Terry's flight Lego set 75572. That's the first Banshee flight. And it's beautiful. I mean, the artwork on the box is amazing. I mean, why would you not want to get this box? Or, I mean, this set. This is, I mean, this looks absolutely stunning with the beautiful banshees, all the colors involved. And the set actually glows in the dark as well. Which all the Avatar, these Two avatar sets I'm going to show you. They have pieces that actually glow in the dark. I mean, this is amazing. So let me put this off to the side. This one actually didn't take as long to put together. It's 572 pieces um, than some of my other, you know, sets. But it was just, just a really fun one to put together. Just very beautiful. So one of the great things, so I actually have the minifigures on here. I have Jake and Atiri on here. And they actually, they have, what's so cool about it is in the movie, they make the connection to the animal with their hair. So they're actually connected to their banshees right here. And I thought that was such a great touch that they put in there, that they had the hair long enough on the minifigures to actually do that. The minifigures themselves, I mean, are stunning. And we have some more. Um, I'll show you on the next set. But the, the wings on this is amazing. I mean, look at the blue and the purple, the clear. Now, these wings don't move up and down. But I love the display, how they did this. And it's just beautiful. And this is like that aqua blue, aqua blue going on here. And even at the bottom of the wings, let me raise it up so y'all can see the bottom of the wings. I mean, they have, they've got the pieces matching. Like that one has a light green there that you connect the wings with. It's really pretty. Now, the mouths do open and close, which is really nice. So you can do that. And I love how they're like up on this rock. So I like how they have this as a perch. So this is a great display piece. But they have like this perch. And I guess they're just flying up over the rocks. Over Well, actually, this is some water. It's like a waterfall, almost looks like here at the bottom. Let me turn it so you can see it. So I, down here at the bottom, it looks like a little waterfall with this blue translucent piece and some water here. And there's some plants. And just... You know, because it shows them flying over like the lush, you know, land that they're at. And these pieces all here, they glow in the dark. So this is a really nice piece. This, can, actually you can connect it to other if, Lego sets if you want to. Um, and I may just connect that to my overall avatar set or divide it up. But I'm definitely going to display this piece. I think it's beautiful. So I wanted to show you Jake Sully's minifigure before we go any further. He came with a spear in this particular set. And I love this, how he has this, he's so tall. And I love how he has this giant spear. The spears actually fit on the side of the banshees. And look how tall he is compared to your average minifigure. 
I mean, these are such unique and great minifigures. He's got really long hair. He's so happy here. And look at his tail. These all have these really long tails. And they actually sent, I think, extra tails with every single minifigure in the set. I guess they expect people to uh, break them or lose them or something like that. So I'm going to put him back with this set now. So this is actually Jake Sully is Turok Makto from the Turok Makto and Tree of Soul set, which I'm getting ready to show you. But I wanted to show you what a difference this is in his other minifigure. His other minifigure was so happy. This one, he has all this war paint on. He's ready to go. He looks amazing. He has a bow and arrow. Look at his tail sticking out there and his hair. He's got all his gear going on. He's ready to fight. I think these minifigures are really unique. And that's one of the reasons why I think this set, I mean, when you have minifigures that are this unique and so unusual, I mean, this makes the set more valuable. And I just really love it. I just love the minifigures in general. So here are the minifigures from the Tree of Souls set. This is Sute, Moat, and Natiri. And look how amazing these minifigures look. I mean, they are just gorgeous minifigures. They're ready for battle. They're ready to go. And I just love how they've done. Like their hair is just amazing. Especially like on the lady. Look at them. They These have more of a curly like hair. Whereas the men have more of a slicked back hair. And they look pretty. Very pretty. I'm going to add these back into the set. And I'm going to show you the Tor Macto and Tree of Souls set. So here's the box for the set. It looks absolutely amazing. I love the artwork they did on this. The Tree of Souls looks incredible. And that's why, this is the reason why I wanted the set so bad. Is because I wanted the Tree of Souls. And I thought it was incredible looking. And I, I suspicion that these were glow-in-the-dark pieces, but I wasn't for sure. But this is some beautiful glow-in-the-dark pieces in the set. So here it is. And I'm going to show you the set now. So let's get the Tree of Souls here. Look at this beautiful Tree of Souls. I mean, this is a lot bigger than what you think it is like I kept thinking oh it may be too small no this tree looks amazing all these glow-in-the-dark vines are here at the bottom glow-in-the-dark flowers all around when one of my previous videos I had actually showed where I had gotten some purple uh, leaves and stuff for the from the pick and brick and now I know where they got these light purple leaves from it's it's been included with this set so these, I think, are just beautiful. It has all this. This just reminds me of like a futuristic weeping willow or something. It's just the way that all these weep down, all these uh, limbs weep down. It's just really pretty. And it has like some vines and stuff around the trunk of the tree all the way up. It's actually moved. It's really nice. It has some Technic pieces involved. So this is part of the set that I really was looking forward to building. And I just think it looks incredible. Let me move this back over here. Now, here we have the backdrop for this. In the movie, they have the Tree of Souls in the front. And Turok Makto, I'm actually going to connect Jake Sully to his, here, to his animal. And he sticks right, <laughs> his hair's trying to come off, actually sticks right there. 
on the top so it looks like he's flying. And I absolutely love this here. Let me move my tree sold out of the way for a second. But this was actually a perch. So you can take this actually off of the perch. And look, the wings move on this. Now it doesn't have the little thing where you can continuously move the wings, but it involves some Technic pieces. And I just thought this was just absolutely gorgeous. It's, you know, the beautiful orange and red and um, yellow going on here. The mouth does close. So you can look ferocious, or you can just be flying through the air. I love it. And he's got these huge claws down here that are just amazing. Let me see if I can actually pull it off. Oh, it pulls off right here. So it's got his little perch right here. Then you can pull that off, or, you know, take it, turn it around, look at his beautiful blue tail. You can play with this, have it flying through the air however you want, or take it off and display it. Maybe, you know, flying over, you know, an area with some fishing line if you wanted to display it that way. Or you can just put it back here on the perch. And I think it looks pretty impressive on this perch, so I'm going to pop it back on here. There we go. And then I love all these little flowers and things that are going on in here. I'm going to add my mini figures in. They're just hanging out. Looking at some flowers and all these beautiful vines here. This little rock archway. It looks amazing. And I love all these glow-in-the-dark flowers that are going on. I mean, all throughout this, we have these beautiful, like, pink, yellow, purple, red going on. Like, some red-looking spiky things. Um, some brown vines. And just these beautiful glow-in-the-dark flowers here. I did actually turn this off. It's a little too bright in the room right now um, to turn the lights off. But I did turn the lights off, and this thing just lit up. It was gorgeous and the tree of souls especially so i think it's going to look awesome especially you know if you're like at night you turn your lights off and just see you know your this all lit up and you know i plan on doing some more lighting in my lego city later on so i just thought that was amazing i would love to have like i really wish they had some more of these glow in the dark vines and stuff in the pick a brick i also wanted to show you this here they included that with this set. I can't remember the name of those. But I thought he was really cool. It's like their little horse. Their version of a horse. But they had the little thing where they can make the connection with the animal. And you could actually take off the saddle. So your mini figure can sit up there. Or stand. There you go. And you can take this and actually push it, pull it out, and make the connection. It just looks really nice. And I like that this is actually a printed, like the eyes are printed and everything. It has six legs. And I really like that because, you know, I hate having to put on stickers for some of the, for some of them. Now the... Uh, Torak Macto, the um, Banshees, the heads were printed, but it's on some of the backside and stuff that had a lot of stickers. And I would prefer that for something like that, that it was more um, printed pieces and not stickers. So, but the wings and stuff were not stickers. That all came in one big set. So, there's two more Avatar sets that I would really like to get. To complete the Avatar series, at least so far. The movie's coming out in this December. So I would really like to get those Avatar sets. I don't know if they're gonna if Lego's gonna produce any more, but I think they would look amazing. And these sets, like I said, are some of my favorite sets that I've put together in a long time. So I definitely would recommend getting these. Like these are sets that you know you could play with. There's sets you could display. 
and move around. I'm actually thinking about putting them like in a uh, like a little in around the medieval section. You know, I, I just think they look incredible. So thank you so much for watching. Please consider subscribing if you're new to the channel and I'll see you next time.